Hi, it's Rachel. I thought that Leah's idea to share our garden was so much fun that I thought I'm going to do a video. It's been a long time since I've done one for Tally. So, here's a tour of my garden. There's my Italian parsley. My basil is trying to grow. The first shot you saw was my um, dill. I'm going to give you a shot of my front yard. My garden is in my front yard this year. And this is what it looks like. These, I have one, two, three, I think I have eight plants altogether of um, lemon cucumbers. I'm going to have patty pan squash. And I have some peppers, five pepper plants. And one of them has Ooh, a couple of them. I haven't been out to look at them today. They have flowers today. And there's my yellow California poppies, which I love. And they started throwing some orange ones, too. There's what's left of my peonies mixed in with my flowers. And Chris Breacher said she had a mystery plant in her garden. I'm going to show her what her mystery plant probably is. I have a collection of them. These are daylilies. And um, let's see, I'll find a flowering one. There's all different varieties. I have 12 different varieties in my yard. Let's see. Here you go. There's one that's not, that's already bloomed. There's one in bloom. I have several that are coming up. There's my li um, lavender. Oops, I just stepped on a flower. Sorry, dragon, snapdragon. Okay, back to my vegetable garden. This is my purple cabbage growing nicely. And I have a fig tree too, but it's really tiny and I haven't put it in the ground yet because we're probably moving and I don't want to leave it here. I have eight different tomato plants. There's some more over there on the other side of my fences. And some there. And there. And I even have one in my daylilies. Can you see it? There it is. And Let's see, I have peas and purple carrots going to be coming up right there. That's what's growing in that little row. And I have, I transplanted my strawberries and they don't look very good, but next year they'll be good. Um, they'll be fine come next year. And I need to thin out my beets. They're officially up enough that I can start pulling them out so that they grow right. I got started on this side, but I haven't gotten underneath my little my little protective cage that I put up for them. And then I have purple carrots coming up. They are really cool purple on the outside, and on the inside they're this beautiful orange color. And I tilled up my yard this year and used some compost from the dump, and that's what keeps the weeds away. I still have some grass that's trying to come through, but I'll pick that in a few days and put some more mulch down. I'm going to give you a tour of my flowers, too. If I had smell o vision you'd be able to smell my flowers. There, that, That's the best part. These are my pink carnations, and they smell like cinnamon and sugar. They're so yummy. And that is my Jack Manny cl Clematis, which I love. He grows on my bed frame. This is a day bed frame that I bought at the thrift store and took apart and used the back side of the day bed as the centerpiece of the bed and screwed it all back together and stuck it in the ground. And I'm not usually a big Petunia fan, but I did like these white ones and I thought they'd be pretty when they start spilling over my fence like my time is doing. And my wallflowers are coming up. I whacked them all back and I was afraid I had killed them. I think I did kill two of them. 
that these ones survived, and I really like them because they have all different colors on them, and they smell really good. One of my favorite succulents, I don't know what it's called, I stole it from the front of a store, I went and pulled some out of the ground and took a start, and it did good. More lavender, and that is my butterfly bush, it'll have really pretty purple flowers on it. And that's my bird bath, and my bird feeding area, and some wool for the birds to make their nests with. And that's it. That's my garden.